The Central is presented by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Order online or download the Papa John's mobile app. Hello Jags, I'm Miller Weidmeyer. And I'm Wes Fowler. And this is JNN's The Central. And now for our top school story. The annual Madison Central Canned Food Drive will be held the week of September 16th through the 20th. All cans will be donated to the Mississippi Food Network. Cans will be collected each morning in the cafetorium up until Friday at 10 a.m. Be sure to get your cans in. And now for our top news headline. Hurricane Dorian reached the coast of North and South Carolina. Beginning as a Category 3 and weakening to a Category 1, Dorian knocked out power in over 215,000 establishments. It has taken four lives and injured many others. And now to Miller with our weather forecast. Today, the weather is mostly sunny with a high of 98 and a low of 73 degrees. Tomorrow, the weather is looking pretty sunny with highs reaching 97 degrees. By Wednesday, the weather will still be sunny and hot with temperatures of 95 degrees. On Thursday, temperatures will still be high with partial cloudiness to round off the week. That's your weather forecast. Now let's go to Wes with a sports update. Thanks, Miller. Congratulations to our Lady Jags volleyball team in their win against Ridgeland this past Wednesday. Both JV and Varsity came out on top in straight sets. That's your sports update. Now back to Miller. Thanks, Wes. As many students gear up for the rigors of the high school curriculum, coffee house has become the choice place for getting together and studying. Here's JNN's Ella Stone with more. Studying is key to all student success at school, and one of the many places to do that is at a coffee house. Some popular locations include the Fusion Coffee House and the Barnes Noble Cafe. Students use seating areas and often free Wi-Fi to comfortably finish their homework or study for a test. I mean, overall, uh, a lot of people go there to study or do work, and so the atmosphere, no one, typically no one's really loud. Um, and everyone's there is kind of focused on something and the smells and everything it's very like nice and calming sort of aroma so it just helps keep you focused. I noticed I tend to remember things more like when I study there just because I, I guess it's just because it helps keep me focused while I'm studying. I tend to do better on homework assignments when I'm out of the house and actually like going out somewhere so they're just a really good place for me. I went a couple times over the summer and I definitely saw a lot of people there at like the very first few days of school. Um, in the summer I guess a lot of people were out of town so it wasn't as crowded with kids but there were a lot more adults there. After hearing a student's perspective we sat down with Christina Wallace, a manager of Fusion Coffee House, to find out more. At Fusion, um, we have free computers for all our customers, and so that's a really nice thing for students who are maybe doing finals or have to do a research paper. Um, we have really nice Mac computers, and um, we have plenty of seating, and we have caffeine. A lot of you guys who come in, we get to know you guys, and. Um, it's nice because we can kind of see how you guys are doing with, you know, how did that test go on Tuesday, but also it's nice because groups of people can come together after school. Sometimes we see a lot of groups come in, four or five people, and they're able to, you know, have study sessions through that time, build their relationships more, and yeah. We love having students in. It's fun for me because I've worked here a really long time, and so it's really fun for us because even when you guys graduate and go off to college, um, when people come back, it's so fun because we've gotten to know you guys for four years now, and so it's even cool to keep those relationships, and so it's really, that's really valuable to us and special to us, so. As we can see, coffee houses provide a great place for students to complete their work with ease. This has been Ella Stone with Jane N. Thanks, Ella. Weekly Smash tournaments, advanced comics, cards, and games have become a hot spot of friendly competition. JNN's Isabella Ragazzi has more on the story. I'm Isabella from JNN, and today we are here at Vans Comics and Cards to share a spotlight on the growing phenomenon that is Smash Brothers tournaments in Mississippi. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate was released for the Nintendo Switch on December 7, 2018. Ever since the debut, tournaments for the game have exploded. Vans, a host for these tournaments, has seen an influx of players from the local community. 
Those who compete in the tournaments only pay an entry fee of $10 to potentially win around $60 to $100 from the prize pool. People of all ages are encouraged to attend and participate against up to 40 plus fellow players. Here is patron Jamal Fierce to tell you why you should be a part of this community. So back in Smash 4, we had a very dedicated group of eight people come to a very small venue in the back of a cart and comic shop and played Smash every other week. And we went from eight people to around 20 people a tournament. Now we got people from Brandon, Madison, Meridian, Hattiesburg. It's like everywhere. And it teaches you competitive spirit, it teaches you camaraderie, because everybody at the end of the day is all friends. Everybody's pretty cool. Andrew Woody is a junior at Madison Central who also attends Smash Brothers tournaments. He is here to provide insight on the camaraderie of the local scene. Of course we're all competitors and we come here to play and try to win. But at the same time, like, this is a community. This is more than just competing. You get to meet people and you get to watch your friends win and lose. The people that work here, the people that you play with, everyone's really nice and polite. Like, you don't usually feel too bad if you lose and people make sure you feel nice when you win. There's some cheering that goes on. It's, it's really interesting. With so much buying for your time in this computer-driven world, consider the benefits of playing Smash Brothers with your new friends at Vans Comics and Cards. Remember, tournaments are every Saturday at 5 p.m. This has been Isabella with JNN. Thanks, Isabella. Madison Central has offered a multitude of new classes this year, one being Problems of American Democracy, which offers insight on the controversial topics surrounding our society. Here's JNN's David Ramsey with more. Here at Madison Central, students have a lot of classes to choose from. Problems of American Democracy, MC's newest class, teaches students about national issues through discussion and podcasting. We talked to class creator and instructor, Brett Mayfield, for more information. But the purpose of the class um, is to uh, take a deep dive at some of the key decision points in U.S. history to understand the greater context, what was going on in the states, what was going on culturally and socially and politically, and then kind of see how all that kind of came together to lead to a certain decision that had a certain impact. Podcasting sets this class apart from others. We talked to some students enrolled in the class about their opinion on this unique aspect. In my opinion, podcasting was very beneficial. Seeing everyone else's perspectives is just interesting to me. Any intelligent conversation in any, like in any subject is really interesting to me. So I enjoyed, making, I enjoyed making the podcast and it was very beneficial to my experience. I think podcasts are really beneficial to the class because it just allows you, it makes you be prepared on the issues that you're about to talk to and you can't just come in class and say the craziest stuff because everybody else has prepared on those issues. It allows you to hear different points of views and different ideas that you might not hear on an everyday basis. Problems of American Democracy puts a modern spin on education. This has been David Ramsey with JNN. Thanks, David. Well, that's all for this time, Jags. Be sure to check online for daily announcements at mcjags.com and be sure to check the JNN YouTube page for the weekly sports update. I'm Miller Widemeyer. And I'm Wes Fowler. And this has been JNN's The Central. Central.